Well, we can go live now to our correspondent, Murat Ghazi, if he's actually on the ground in Syria, can uh, cross him for some more insight into what's going on. Uh, Murad, it's uh, perhaps no surprise that uh, this latest phase um, has started now, this uh, Navy-based operation. What details do we know so far, though? Well, stri strikes began just after midday. They're hitting Idlib province, which is the capital of uh, Jabhat al-Nusra al-Qaeda in Syria. They're hitting Homs, Hama, uh, other terrorist groups from where they have launched attacks, numerous attacks on Aleppo and other areas in Syria. The strikes have apparently started off with uh, cruise missile launches from uh, the Russian naval battle group stationed just off of Syria's coast. Of course, for the first time ever in its long service life, the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov has joined in on the military operation. This is its first real military operation. Su-33 aircraft are already carrying out airstrikes against terrorist targets. And they're going for munition depots. They're going for munition factories. They're going for logistics centers, for headquarters, for training camps. And there have been a lot of speculation in the past weeks about uh, why there are so many Russian jets apparently uh, flying with their weapons pods empty, uh, and so many drones. Now we know why they were flying all over Syria. They were gathering intelligence. This operation had been uh, a long time in the coming. They had put a lot of effort into compiling these lists of targets, and now they lo they're looking to take them out in one ferocious, uh, ferocious campaign. Of course, a priority here is to neutralize the terrorists' capacity to construct, to build, and utilize uh, weapons of mass destruction. Over the last week, there have been two incidents of the use, apparently, of chlorine gas in, uh, in and around Aleppo. Uh, 60 people, as well as civilian soldiers, injured in those attacks. Many people killed. They want to end the terrorist capacity to use those weapons. Russian nuclear, chemical, biological protection teams are on the ground. They're monitoring the situation, ready to respond uh, where the need arises. Of course, this is all being coordinated with Syrian uh, troops, ground forces, their allies on the ground, and they're making their own uh, advances. All right, Murat uh, there, bring us the latest on that operation. Murat Gaziev uh, live on the ground in Syria. Russia has resumed pounding Syrian militant positions with increased ferocity, with its biggest ship now coasted up off the coast of Syria. flagship of the Russian naval group taking part in the operation is that aircraft carrier right there, the Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's largest ship and only aircraft carrier. An RT crew is currently on board, and Igor Zhdanov filed this report. We are currently on the way to Admiral Kuznetsov, the flagship of the Russian Navy in Syria. It will take this search and rescue helicopter roughly 30 minutes to get there from the Russian air base in Latakia, as we will be landing on the aircraft carrier itself. This is Russia's largest warship. Almost two and a half thousand people man the Kuznetsov. When we arrived, it was abuzz with activity. The Kuznetsov is carrying dozens of brand new fighter jets as well as combat and search and rescue helicopters. They've been busy carrying out practice flights and perfecting takeoffs, landings and air maneuvers, with the ultimate goal, of course, of defeating terrorism in Syria. This fighter jet is fully ready for combat, and one of the armaments it carries is this bomb. It's a high-precision weapon. It weighs 500 kilograms and explodes within a meter and a half from a target. And with the last preparations complete, it's time for action. Fighter jets have just taken off from the Admiral Kuznetsov for the first time for an actual combat mission on which they will target terrorist command centers, weapons factories and stockpiles in the Syrian provinces of Idlib and Homs. But their mission is only part of the greater tactical game plan. Another Russian warship, the Admiral Grigorovich, led by the Kuznetsov, launched strikes with caliber missiles, high-precision weapons capable of hitting a target from thousands of kilometers away and virtually impossible to shoot down. 
while from the Syrian coast a bastion system battered terrorist positions with supersonic Onyx missiles. We didn't see that from the carrier, but we weren't short on spectacle. But formidable air power and size aren't the only things that make the Admiral Kuznetsov special. Unlike many other warships in its class, Admiral Kuznetsov is actually capable of defending itself. For example, these Kinjal or Dagger missiles, their main purpose is defending this aircraft carrier from incoming aerial attacks. And as a whole, Admiral Kuznetsov can also protect itself from enemy warships and planes. The Admiral Kuznetsov did not come alone. It is leading a naval group of about 10 warships, and their presence hasn't gone unnoticed. This helicopter is not from any of the ships in this naval group, and it has been watching us for days. Our commanders, our officers on this ship are telling us that it is from one of the NATO's warships in the region. Igor Zhdanov from Admiral Kuznetsov, RT.
الله اكبر علي نفس علي نفس المكان علي الله اكبر الله Yeah.